Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you January 2nd, 2020, beginning of a new trading year. This uh, on our 50th year on the earth and our 28th year in the market um, will be a challenging year, no doubt. They always are. We are as excited uh, as you all are. Um, and we're going to start the year uh, rather than looking at the charts with trade ideas. We want to get everybody's minds right, including our own. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about trading uh, and the right mental attitude that you need to take into a trading year. Uh, the background will be a little bit of a skiing since we just got back uh, from the Dolomites. Uh, we've got uh, one of these Patagonia movies that I do enjoy. This is something that we do enjoy here, this rondonet skiing, pre-dawn rondonet skiing. Um, and it's a nice little metaphor for trading, right? You get up early in the dark, you climb up some ridiculous hill uh, waiting for the morning light, uh, and then when you get that light, you turn around and ski down some amazing piste. Uh, anyway, if you ever get a chance to try ski touring, we highly recommend it. On a trading note, uh, I just want to go over some main ideas about winning traders and losing traders. A lot of you have asked me over the Christmas break uh, things to read. Uh, our trading Bible here is uh, Let the Trade Winds Flow by Harry Stanton. Uh, there are many great uh, pages within the 117 page uh, pamphlet that he published I think in the 70s. Um, but let me just go over one of the best synopses of winning traders versus losing traders. I'm not trying to get on my high horse here. Um, I'm just trying to get everybody's mind right and everybody pointed in the right direction for 2020. Here's a little piece that he wrote uh, that I'll just read to you. The difference between winning traders and losing traders. Winning traders. Winning traders believe that money is not important. Losing traders believe money is the most important thing. Winning traders. The profits will automatically flow if I follow my trading rules. Do what you say, say what you do. Losing traders believe making money is more important than trading well. Winning traders believe Losing is part of the process. My wife always tells me when I'm in a glum mood after a bad day of the markets, she, who is not a trader, she always reminds me, she goes, isn't losing part of the game? This pisses me off more than anything, but man, she has just nailed it uh, with that comment. Losing traders believe I must not lose any money. Winning traders believe trading is a game. It is fun. Losing traders believe trading is a serious business. This is an interesting contradiction here. I don't want anyone to misinterpret this. Trading is a serious business. You have to run your trading life as a business. But what Harry's trying to say here is let's not just take ourselves too seriously. If you don't have fun trading, if this isn't enjoyable to you, there's no way it's sustainable. So you should probably be doing something else. Back to the winning column. Winning traders believe, I know I can win. Losing traders believe, I have to trade well to pay the rent. I know they're going to get me. I'm going to lose again. 
Winning traders believe there's no such thing as failure. Every setback provides me with a new market information and experience. Losing traders believe I'm a failure. Winning traders believe if I'm to be a successful trader, then I must be patient. Losing traders believe if I'm patient, then I will miss the market. In a world of FOMO, in a world drowning in FOMO, this is a very important differentiation between winners and losers. FOMO has no place uh, in the trading world. Be patient and believe. Winning traders believe if I get stopped out, then I've learned something important. Losing traders believe if I get stopped out of the market, then I'm unlucky. Winning traders believe if I am a disciplined trader then I will con and I consistently apply my trading rules, I will be successful. Losing traders believe if I apply my trading rules, then I won't be able to adjust to sudden market moves. That is the difference between being reactionary, this is what losing traders do, and planning and visualization, which is what winning traders do. And finally, winning traders believe if I take a loss, then it is a normal part of the process. Losing traders believe if I take a loss, then I am a loser. I'm not trying to tell everybody what to do or how to do it. I'm just reminding myself. Uh, I spent some time over the break in the mountains as these two knuckleheads on the screen are doing. Um, thinking about trading, going over the Bible, getting my head ready, visualizing a good year, thinking about how the year will be structured and what I need to do to be successful this year. Harry does a great job here in a very sort of simplified form of just listing 10 or so tenants or ways of thinking about the market that winners, the way winners think, and then also the corollary 10 on how losers think. Take a serious look at your trading from last year, which was a miserable year for a lot of us. Um, but also over your career, 10 years, 20 years, uh, 30 years. I'm sure one, two, maybe three, maybe more um, of these tenants will hit home, give you food for thought, um, and perhaps help you in your trading journey this year. Just wanted to share this to start things out. Getting your mind right is probably the most important thing in trading. Um, I will get off the bully pulpit now and get back to the European Open here. Uh, if you're long euros from the 20th, great. Uh, you got to sit long here. We are going to be selling dollars or the market in general looks like they're going to be selling dollars into this first week. Um, same with cable. If you're able to hold on to your your pounds uh, on the 131 handle or down on the 130 handle or the 129 handle, uh, you can hold those now. Uh, the first flow of the year looks to be dollar sales, particularly, I think, in euro and in sterling. Anyway, tomorrow I'll be back with the charts uh, and a normal sort of European opening call. Today, I just wanted to share a little bit of trading psychology and trading preparation um, from, again, this isn't from anything that I wrote. This is from Harry Stanton. The book is called Let the Trade Winds Flow. I'm pretty sure it's not in publication anymore. Uh, but if you can find it, uh, you should read it, in our opinion. Uh, it's 117 pages of trading love. Anyway, 
wish you all a good day wish you all an amazing year um, and I will see you all tomorrow morning ciao